Good morning, y'all. Um, I just woke up. I don't know when this video is gonna go up, but I'm filming it not long after the day after the chit chat get ready with me, meaning the in laws. Um, that went so well because I didn't meet my in laws, I didn't meet them because um, my schedule got sort of complicated, but um, I thought. It would be fun if we talk a little bit about skincare and a little bit about skin routine and um i'm actually choosing a really bad time to do this because i didn't have plans to get out of bed so i wasn't gonna do my skin routine yet but anything for the fall okay so i think before any I talk about like skincare products that I like or anything I need to be clear with you guys what type of skin I have everyone's skin isn't the same it's different so what works for one person may not work for the other but I do want to give you guys some sort of guideline to what sort of skin I'm working with so let's get into that so personally I have sensitive skin all over my body um, I've had eczema since I was born and at some point, as a baby, I had to be taken out of swimming because the chlorine was making my eczema act up. The doctor was like, don't take that bitch out at the pool on that bushy pink thing. So like, I didn't learn how to swim until I was like nine or ten years old. But I have sensitive skin and I have pretty dry skin. And in the winter, it's really important to moisturize. Moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Um, and for that, I use, I have a set of little moisturizer. Really, I don't focus so much on the moisturizer, but I do mix it in with rosehip oil. And I have a love-hate relationship with rosehip oil. Because people say it's amazing for acne scarring, and I'm a nervous picker, so I pick at my face a lot. And my sort of whole way of life was like, it's easier to cover up an acne scar than it is to cover up a giant bump. So that's, don't listen to me. Do not listen to me when I say that. It's literally the worst idea. You're introducing germ to your face. You're hurting yourself. You're forcing, just don't pop. Almost, and if you're going to pop them, pop them correctly. Take the correct procedures. Clean the area. Clean your fingers. Clean any tools you're going to use. Like, really... Just don't willy nilly go pop it like I do it. But I have a lot of acne scars because of it. So that's why I bought rose of oil because like I've heard wonders about it. And honestly, like it may work, it may not. I honestly like I cannot tell the difference. It's not something that you're gonna notice immediately. I know that I was looking at a picture of myself from a year ago and I had a like acne scar like around here like at the moment where I was looking at the picture I was like oh I don't have that anymore but it had been it had been months since that picture was taken like the skin regenerates exfoliating but it could have been the rose of oil I don't know how well it is for acne but it does leave your skin feeling so supple actually give me a second when you purchase rose of oil it should be let me open this for y'all it should be an amber color and you shouldn't it shouldn't have any sort of like fragrant smell so do watch out but you will see from the dropper it is a light orange um the reason that's been closed although i've been in north republic for about a week it's because i don't really use it in the summer because i do feel like it sometimes makes my skin oilier but at in winter time it is a must when my skin's feeling really dry it is a absolute must um now in summer what's happening is that i feel like my skin is turning a little to combination it still tends to be on the drier side and like once I wash it and everything it does feel like 
being tight and you're just like oh i don't know if i can move but because it is summertime i sweat a lot more and that tends to come off as oily i mean like i look oily like you catch me at the end of the night do not take a flash photograph of me because i will look like an oil spill or acne scars since we're talking about it glycolic acid sort of things this is uh by Clin clinicare rx the glycolic skin renewal this this is just like a see-through you know this is sort of like a um, natural exfoliator it's sort of like a chemical exfoliator rather than exfoliators that are like physical like that throw like rub the skin up no this one and i will tell you i did notice in areas like where i have acne scars i did notice that skin peeling and not gonna lie to y'all i wasn't using it long enough to tell you oh yes this scar went away perfectly but if i would have carried on with that product i just found a stick of gum you might get some stuff no 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 it's soft it's warm Literally, I have to keep my gum in the fridge while I'm here in the yard because it's so goddamn hot. But I do recommend the glycolic stuff if you are looking for um, something to get rid of scarring. My skincare routine is very clencher. Clencher? Cleanser based. <laughs> clencher? So I, if it's like the end of the night, First things first, makeup wipes. Um, these are the Neutrogena ones, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I pretty much bought it for the vanity case. <laughs> but um, they're really good, gentle wipes. Let's get some ASMR. Actually. There's one thing I don't like about them, they leave a, like a very they leave you oily i don't know if they're an oil based wipe although it says uh no heavy residue there's no need to rinse i would generally rinse the reason i will probably continue with these although that issue is because this is only step one in my skincare routine and after that i follow that with my seller cleansing water love 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 micellar water um there was an instagram skin account that said that these costs caused cancer i don't know if that's true or not i'm still using it until a legitimate source tells me they cause cancer i will probably continue using it um that's an absolute lie i am the biggest yolo sort of person i'm just like you know what we all gotta die somehow <laughs> like so uh no oil no alcohol no fragrance this literally looks like water but it cleans so well and i love this especially for eye makeup because it's so 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 gentle on the eye so like when i take off my makeup i concentrate this mostly on face and then i'll go over the face but i'll concentrate this mostly on the eyes and this does leave a film but it's a film i enjoy it's like sort of very soft um then i've got the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser, and this is not, this is not like a soapy cleanser. This is like a cream cleanser, and you can use it with or without water. I personally use it without water, and the reason is because I tend to have drier skin, I feel like it's more moisturizing once it stays on the skin and really like seeps into the skin. And then it's also very nice to have a layer to protect from toner because do not let any Instagram account tell you you don't need toner because you don't need your pH balanced. That's not what toner does anymore. It is not the 80s. Toner really just helps to get all that dirt and grime off your face. 
but it can and it will strip. I'm using the Neutrogena Rapid Clear 2-in-1 Buddy Fade, um, but it will strip your face of oils, it will strip your face of moisture. Although I'm going to follow this up with the like moisturize, I do like to have a protective layer because I'm not gonna lie I have sensitive skin sometimes I put this on and my face stings I've got a fan going like you guys can see it's sort of like a cream it's very thin um growing up my brother and my cousin would always say that it looked like something you can't see you can't see at all this is useless um my brother and my cousin would always say it looked like something I'm not gonna tell you what. Um, I think you guys can figure it out. But that's um, gross. We don't talk about that on this channel. You guys saw how I just put that cleanser on and it just soaks into the skin. It doesn't leave a residue. Like, you can sort of feel sort of tacky as it's drying, but it's easily, you don't have to rinse it off. And that's honestly such a good thing because it's like, you don't need to be in a bathroom or whatever and it's like i can do my skincare routine my entire skincare routine from my bedroom and having it so accessible makes me more likely to do it and so then i follow up with any facial moisturizing lotion i was using the setup for one for a while really loved it went to the store they didn't have any so i got the CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion this one's got sunscreen on it because sunscreen's so important. Um, this is SPF 30 and that's it. That is absolutely it for my skin routine. No more, no less. At night, I will switch out this moisturizer for um, either rose of oil for, especially because I've got eczema on my back and my neck sometimes let's do rose of oil on that or i've got um a fade cream by ambi um which i not i didn't include it in here because i have only been using it for a week so i don't really have anything to say about it yet i don't know if it works or not i will keep you guys updated with that maybe one day we'll do an updated skin routine but yeah that's it for my skincare um my skin's far from perfect you guys know that i know that um my hair is far from perfect right now i literally just woke up like i'm in bed i'm also staying at my grandma's house i think you can tell by this bedding but i just made my hair worse you know what you know what she's gonna stay there she's gonna stay there because she's an independent woman and Thank you guys for sitting through this. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to watch all the other videos. Check out Rosie's content. Check out Sumi's content. And like and comment on all of them. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's not true. I don't know. I'll see you guys, but hopefully soon. Bye, guys.